Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got Burning Paris, Gunslinger, Suicidal. So one of the things that I want to work on is talking about the game less. My sensitivity is still just messing with me though. But I'm just going to keep it here because this is what I believe it should be. Oh hey, we're not on... Um, I'm just now noticing, or maybe it's, it's an update, but we are... Oh my god, this is so wrong. Something is so... The sensitivity is just killing me. Ah, uh, man, it feels weird being on the non, um, the non-event skins. Not sure why they aren't here, but you know what? I'll take it. It feels so weird being on the normal skins, though. It's been so long. Anyway, talk about the game less, because uh, I want to posit this as more of a vloggy style content than um, gameplay content. The gameplay should really be second to the uh, to the commentary, right? In my opinion, anyway. God, they look so weird. Like, they look so weird. I don't like it. Alright, so yeah, I want to talk less about the game than... Uh, more about more about stuff. But the thing is, my life is so boring outside of, uh, outside of some games. Because, uh, you know, it's quarantine. It makes uh, it makes for... You know, the quarantine's kind of like a double-edged sword, right? You got uh, you got more time to record. Because you're not doing anything. But then you're not doing anything. So what are you, you going to talk about while you record? I don't know. I don't know. I have been... Um, I've been working a little bit on a, uh, on a game. But... With, uh, with the RuneScape 3 stuff right now, I'm doing agility first. We're going for 99 agility in the first episode. So I'm, uh, I'm at 96 right now. Gonna get 97 tomorrow, probably. Maybe 98 tomorrow as well, depending on how far I get today. After after all this recording is done. Um, and then we'll have 99 maybe the next day or the day after. So not too far until agility is done. And that's like... High active gameplay, you know that's that's active. I can't I can't just leave that in the background while I uh, while I work on other things, which is why it's my least favorite skill and why I'm getting it done first. Um, anyway, but so uh, since I've been doing agility, I can't really work on the uh, the game in the background like uh, like I could for other things. So the game hasn't been getting too much progress done, just a little bit when I'm uh, wanting a break from the the grind. But it's coming along. It's it's going to be a snake game, but there's going to be a bit of like a story to it. It's going to have like proper game elements to it, not RPG elements necessarily, but uh, proper game elements anyway. It's going to be a proper game with uh, with snake as the, uh, the the sort of grounding factor of it, and I think it's going to be kind of fun. At least. Like, not, it's not something I'm probably going to, well, no, I'm definitely not going to sell it. It's going to go on my website. It's going to be JavaScript, totally free. Um, definitely not going to sell it. Um, but it'll probably be fun for, you know, a few minutes to, to kind of play through it and have a little bit of a, uh huh, this is kind of neat, kind of a uh, feeling with it. So it's kind of the goal. Just more stuff to put on the website, right? More stuff. You just got to. Fill it up with bloat. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do, really. Um, let's see. Yeah, so uh, the only other thing that's really been getting me lately is uh, just feeling really strongly about wanting to move out. And uh, unfortunately, I can't do that until I have a job. And I not get a job until COVID's over, or even like after that, because I want to uh, push this as far as I can while I can. So it's kind of like I like the, the other flesh pounds more, honestly. Um, so I've been thinking about making a Patreon lately. Been thinking about it. I know I said I wouldn't do it until I had a thousand subs, and you know the the criteria for YouTube to pay. For to pay me, um, but I'm thinking I might just do it, 
anyway. I don't know. We'll we'll see. Well, we'll see. I don't think anybody really gave me money anyway. At least not a substantial enough amount, right? Like, there might be a couple of people out there who'd see the Patreon and be like, you know what, I kind of like this girl. I'll give her, you know, a dollar a month. And, you know, while that would be really, really cool to see, ultimately, it doesn't, it doesn't really impact me that much. It would just kind of be you spending your money and Patreon getting their cut and then me kind of living the exact same life I would have anyway. So it, it kind of feels like a little bit um, silly to me to to make one, but I don't know. I've been I've been thinking about it because I do want to like get out of here <laughs> as soon as I can. It's just it's not a very comfortable place for me to be living with my uh, with my parents. I mean, for for just to start off with, I'm I'm almost 25 this year. I don't really like living with my parents at this age. And nothing against it, I just, for me personally, you know, growing up, I always thought that I'd be in my own place. And honestly, I thought I'd be in like a long-term relationship by now. So my life has really not gone the way I kind of thought it would. Uh, but that's okay. That's okay. Anyway, I'm, I'm coming up on 25 years old soon, and I, I don't know, I, I feel like I, I want to be more independent, just for, for my own sake, than, uh, than I am. So that's that's the main motivator for me to want to get out of here because it's uh it just i'm reminded all the time that i'm not independent and uh it just it feels bad you know i want i want that independence i want to prove to myself and to, to to people that i can be independent and i can be responsible and i can uh i can handle all of that stuff because i believe i could I just I don't have the money for it, so like right now I can't. But you know, once I get the money for it, that's that's another story. Um, and uh, the other the other one the other there's a couple of other bits that are kind of really irking me. It's um, on the weekends I I sleep in, right? Because um, in RuneScape I've got uh, oh hello. Oh no, that's a lot of baddies. I don't like it. So in RuneScape, we've got uh, boss mass every night at uh, midnight for me that I like to take part in when I have the time, right? Not always, but uh, on occasion. I have uh, most most of the time these days, but um, when, uh, when I have the time, I like to... Actually, let's get back into this thing. I like to uh, to take part in that, and that's until 1, 2 a.m. kind of thing in the morning. And then uh, sometimes we even go on a little bit longer. Um, not too often, but uh, particularly on the weekends when uh, when people have more time. Uh, so on the weekends, I'm, I'm up late, and I want to sleep in in the mornings, right? And uh, the weekends are the times that my uh, my parents are home, and they want to be productive around the house, get... Um, get whatever they've been working on lately done, right? And it's like, neither of us are more right than the other, right? My my desire to sleep in isn't more right than their desire to to fix things up around the house, work on, you know, the table that he's working on, or mow the lawn, or whatever. Like, we both have things that we want to get done. We both have things that we did, and that, uh, you know, just just uh, different lives that, uh, that required different things. And... It kind of means that I have to uh, be woken up when I, I really don't want to. Because while neither of us are wrong, theirs is noisy when I'm wanting to sleep. So it's kind of a bad situation for me. But um, that, that really, really, really stinks. Um, the other thing that kind of gets me is uh, the food here kind of sucks, <laughs> honestly. Um, and it's, again, it's, you know, I want to eat good food they want to eat quick food because they work and they're busy and they don't particularly enjoy cooking and that's very reasonable um, so it's not like I can be mad at them for it or be like hey we need to fix this because they're not in the wrong 
but um, their food kind of sucks. And especially right now, like I don't have, oops, I don't have the um, like fridge space because it's full of, I mean, honestly, it's full of garbage. Um, so I don't really get to uh, like go grocery shopping and, and fill up the fridge and then make my own dinners. So it's kind of been like a lot of ordering out and stuff. Oh, come on. And I don't particularly enjoy that, but eh, you know, whatever. Um, like, just to, to put it in perspective of, of how little thought goes into the dinners. Like, the other day my sister diced up some peppers for, uh, for her, like, a uh, burrito or something. And uh, my mother's like, wow, I don't normally like peppers because they're so big, but if you cut them up small like that, that, that actually doesn't look so bad. You know, like... You don't want to get peppers. We don't have. We don't really get peppers because they're too big. You can't just cut them smaller, right? Like that's how little thought goes into it because they just don't want to cook. They don't think about cooking because they don't care about it. They just want it over with as soon as possible, right? So it's the the dinners are very cheap and and kind of not so great usually, and I don't particularly care for it. Um, so I want to get out anyway. That's good for today. Thank you for uh, watching. Remember to like it if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.